Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today Google released April 24 update for the Pixel Watch and I have it here on my Pixel Watch 2 to show you each and every new change. So without further ado, let's jump in. First things first, if you didn't get the update notification automatically, you can force the watch to update manually by connecting it to the charger and then jump to settings, then system, then system update and keep tapping on this watch icon many times until you see a message saying update in progress or if your battery is less than 50% you have to wait for it to reach 50% first and then it will automatically start the update and here I have it on April 5th 2024 and now let's take a look at the new features. In the release notes Google only mentioned two new features with this update but I also found some hidden changes that I'm going to talk about later but let's start with the announced features. The first one is called vibration watch and this feature will allow you to know the time without the need to look at the screen but it will use the vibration motor to give you some taps and these taps can be translated into time. So let me show you how it works because it's a bit confusing at first. To access the feature you need to go to settings and then vibration and then scroll down a bit and you will see a new menu item called vibration watch. It will first give you an idea about how the feature works it says here get the current time as vibrations when the screen is on tap the watch face with two fingers to check the time single tap for the hour and double tap for the minutes when you scroll down a bit you will see two different vibration types the first one is called digits and the second is called ters when you take a look at digits it says here vibration watch gives you the current time in decimal format a long vibration means 10 and a short vibration means 1. So let me show you an example here. Now the time is 2.15 a.m. So when I give it one tap like this, it gave me two small vibrations and that means that the hour is 2. And when I give a double tap, it gave me a long vibration which means 10 minutes and then five small taps which means 15. Now let's take a look at the other vibration type which is called terse. It says here vibration watch gives the minutes briefly. Each short vibration means a quarter hour. So let's give it a try. When I give it only one tap for the hour, it will do the same thing as digits. I got two short vibrations for the hour which is two. But when I give it double taps, it will only give me one short vibration because it, it does that for each 15 minutes increment. So this one will give you approximate time while digits will give you the exact time. On top of this, you have the ability to adjust the vibration speed to your taste. You have very slow, slow, medium, fast, and very fast. But I found medium to be good enough for me to follow along. But why would you need a feature like this? I have two scenarios in mind. Either you are in a job interview and you want to know the time without looking at your watch. So you can hide your hands under the table and you keep tapping on the screen. And the second scenario is for visually impaired people. The second announced feature is under settings and then display and then adjust brightness. Now you have the ability to see the different brightness levels even with the adaptive brightness toggle is activated. Now let's talk about the new features I spotted after installing this update. Maybe they are related to a previous one that I didn't notice but I will go through them anyways. The first two changes are in the recent apps screen. Previously, when you tap on hold on any app, it forced to quit the app, but now it will take you to a different menu. From here, you can clear the app from recents or jump to the app info page, which is a handy little feature. And when you scroll all the way down, now you have the ability to access the full app list from here as well. I also found the animations to be a bit nicer overall, but let me show you a couple of examples. When I try to ring my phone, the X button animates differently and also the media controls have a new animation when you skip tracks like this. Last but not least, let's talk about the performance and bug fixes. As per the release notes, there are numerous bug fixes with this update. Google didn't mention exactly what are these bug fixes, but if you have any issue with your Pixel Watch, you can give it another go after this update and see if the issue is now resolved. When it comes to performance, I think the watch is very responsive and I don't have any problem with it. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the new changes in April 24 update for the Pixel Watch. Please let me know in the comments if I missed anything. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.